We're already aware of the fact that the Russian invasion of Ukraine has not been good for the world. From snatching the shelters of 14 million people to causing destruction worth $200 billion, Russia has been pretty merciless with Ukraine. Not only did it snatch 20% of Ukraine's territory, but also bombed the world's biggest airplane built by Ukraine. In today's video, we will discuss the design, development, and operation of the Antonov AN-225 and also talk about how Russia smashed it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The Antonov Design Bureau of Ukraine created and produced the Antonov AN-225 Maria, a six-engine aircraft for strategic heavy-lift cargo transport in the 1980s. The word Maria is Arabic for dream or inspiration. NATO refers to it by the codename Cossack. A flying tractor trailer might be compared to a typical cargo plane, but the Maria's size and payload made it more like a flying freight ship. And to better comprehend why it was built, it is important to go into the history of the Soviet Union. Midway through the 20th century, there were numerous and significant advancements made in the realm of space exploration. Due to the Cold War at the time, satellites from the US and the former USSR rose to prominence as crucial components of the global economy and military infrastructure. The Soviet Union, which could not and did not want to fall behind in the aerospace competition, likewise made the decision to create its own system with features that were quite similar to those of the American Space Shuttle. As a result, the Soviet Union's Ministry of Aviation Industry authorized the renowned Ukrainian business Antonov Bureau to create and construct a particular airplane to transport components of their new space project. For the Soviet space program, the Antonov AN-225 was designed to transport the Boeing-class orbiters and the boosters of the Energia rocket by air. Viktor Tolmachev was in charge of designing the AN-225 and the AN-124. At the time when this contract was signed, Antonov was working on Antonov AN-224, which at that time was the plane with the biggest cargo capacity in the world. However, they needed to first finish and test the prototype. Let's talk a bit about the design of the world's largest airplane. Four and aft fuselage barrel extensions were added to the AN-225, which was based on Antonov's older AN-124. Root extensions were also added to the wings to improve span. This had anhedral wings. They used fly-by-wire technology and triple redundant hydraulics to manage the flight control surfaces. The aircraft could turn with a runway that is 60 meters wide, thanks to the construction of an increased capacity landing gear system with 32 wheels, some of which are steerable. AN-225 had a nose gear that could kneel to make loading and unloading cargo easier. The AN-225's maximum gross weight was originally 600 tons, 660 short tons, 590 long tons, but between 2000 and 2001, the aircraft underwent renovations for a cost of $20 million, including the addition of a stronger floor, boosting the maximum gross weight to 640 tons, 710 short tons, 630 long tons. The AN-225 is the heaviest airplane in the world, surpassing the double-deck Airbus 380 according to both the earlier and later takeoff weights. The AN-225's pressurized cargo compartment had a volume of 1,300 square meters, was 6.4 meters wide, 4.4 meters high, and 43.35 meters long, even longer than the Wright Brothers' inaugural flight. On December 21, 1988, the AN-225 made its maiden flight. The Antonov AN-225 Maria was initially used by the Soviet space program to transport Buren-class orbiters from 1988 until 1991. By April 1994, the AN-225 had completed 339 flights totaling 671 hours, including commercial transport, participation in exhibits, and air shows. Due to a lack of pertinent agreements, ties between Moscow and Kyiv became chaotic after the fall of the Soviet Union. Initially, two planes were ordered, but after the Soviet Union's disintegration, they stopped the construction of the second one due to lack of fundings. The Soviet Union had already disintegrated by this point, and the AN-225 was lying around doing nothing. Thus, Antonov Airlines re-engineered the AN-225, upgraded it for carrying big cargo, and put it back into operation. Additionally, because of its speedy transport of large quantities of essential supplies during various disaster relief missions, it became a valuable asset to international aid organizations. 
The last commercial flight of the aircraft took place from February 2nd to February 5th, 2022, when it was used to transport about 90 tons of COVID-19 test kits from Tianjin, China to Billund in Denmark via Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan. It then made its way back to its base at Hostomel's Antonov Airport on February 5th to undergo an engine swap. It was said to be evacuated on the morning of February 24th as advised by NATO, but that day, Russia invaded, making the airstrip one of their first objectives. The AN-225 was reported to be undamaged on February 24th. On February 27th, a picture of what appeared to be the AN-225 on fire in its hangar was shared on Twitter. Ukrainian officials also confirmed that AN-225 has been destroyed by Russian troops. Fixing it might take up to 3 billion USD in 5 years. The AN-225 was the Maria, or dream, for the Ukrainians, who were incredibly proud to be able to say that they had created the largest plane in the world from scratch. Because it made so many people dream and helped some people realize their aspirations, the Antonov AN-225 will always be remembered in history. With that being said, we come to the end of the video. Did Russia do the right thing by destroying Ukraine's precious airplane? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a like, and for more amazing content, stay tuned.